Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan here and I'm making an unscripted video about nothing. So if you're expecting some sort of value or some sort of entertainment, I recommend that you leave now. But in the case that you are still here, I will start by saying I appreciate you for being here and hanging out with me. And uh, hopefully I will be able to provide you with some sort of entertainment value or some sort of philosophical knowledge or wisdom or some sort of value to improve your life. And um, as you can see, I have my new setup here, my, my new office in my room. And um, I'm just going to talk unscripted. Uh, I did. I, write some, I wrote some stuff out I wanted to talk about, but the problem is what happens is it ends up sounding very mechanical. I found I feel rigid and it just doesn't come out well, you know. So I thought I'd just be better off just turning on the camera, hitting record, and no matter what, whatever comes out, I'm just going to upload it, right? That's basically what I'm going to do. Uh, I actually did write about vegans. Uh, I I was uh, watching this YouTube video, and I was curious because the, the title of the video was, you know, how to turn your passion into a career, because that's a topic I kind of want to talk about. Uh, I am a personal trainer. It was, fitness was a passion of mine, or it is a passion of mine, but, you know, uh, Talking about that and sort of wanting to teach that just sounds interesting to me. I think it's a little bit of a It's a little bit of a misnomer or I don't know if that's the right, right word I think it's really more of a it's kind of a way to kind of weasel you into something I think because the reality is no matter what you want to do no matter how much you love it uh, The thing that you love might is probably not profitable or there are parts of that thing that are not profitable I don't know I can get more into that in later, but let's get back to the vegans and why I dislike, I don't dislike vegans, that's not true, but I do get this, anyways, I was watching this lady's video, I saw, I was looking into the description to learn, learn a little bit more about her, she's a, you know, much bigger channel than mine, but still small by most YouTube standards, about 30,000 uh, subscribers, and she says, why, why become vegan, and I just had this visceral response you know when anyone says they're vegan or they promote that they're vegan or they try to sort of share their veganism just a little hint of it it makes me feel sort of disgusted and um, I'm saying that in a very vulnerable way because if you are vegan or you know are particular towards that type of philosophy understand that I am naive and I don't know what I'm talking about uh, I'm simply sharing my opinion and my feelings and I'm sort of basically discovering myself because I'm actually not interested so much in why being a vegan is bad because I do have my opinions of it, but they're so emotionally charged. They're stupid. I mean, you know, because it's just because veganism or, for example, believing in Jesus Christ or any religion for that matter, or even eating philosophy, you know, eating meat, you know, is a it's it's a belief right and you can't fight it and sometimes when it's completely opposed like just like the world is flat for example you know if you are like to so some people that's real right but when it's something that you just don't believe you're completely op opposed to to a point where like you're out of your mind you, you you should eat meat you can't help but feel well i can't help but feel this internal feeling and what i'm actually really trying to say is i'm more interested in why I get this internal response because I think I'm I consider myself very introspective I like to just discover myself and sort of the things that make me tick because I find my, that interesting and I always find it interesting when um, I can see my own bullshit when I can see my own way of viewing things is so narrow a part of me knows that I'm very narrow-minded in something, right? Because I have a belief. But then but then the point is, is like, I just, I want to know what that is. You know, I, th I think that's, because that's what happens. When, when, when you see people talking about Donald Trump or like what happened in Char Char Charlotte and just stuff was going on in the media, it's not like I'm, I'm pro or con against anything. And I'm just simply saying like the response that people have, it's very internal. Like, at the moment, like, for example, like, how can I get to put this? Because the hard part about a lot of this is that we respond so much by emotion. You know, we like to pretend that we're, we're logical beings, but we're not. We all are responding by emotion. And sometimes we get so caught up in the way we believe that, 
you lose complete and total sight of what another person sees. And I bring this up because I'm just babbling now, but I want to talk about it because it's just interesting. You know, like people who talk about low carb diets and people who talk about veganism or people who talk about just any kind of eating. You know, I think what's so funny about a lot of this stuff is that like I get negative comments on my YouTube channel. Like I remember Jason Blaha, for those of you who know his channel, is a pretty controversial fitness YouTuber. And somebody um, in the fitness space, somebody, uh, I commented on, on a video about Rich Piana. And this guy, I guess, was watching that video, came to my channel and decided to say some mean things to me, you know, and it's it's funny or it's interesting, not funny. It's just interesting how we can feel so righteous in telling people how wrong they are. Right. I think a lot of us feel that way about lots of things, um, no matter who you are. I mean, you, you like, I mean, I think a lot of us like to pretend that maybe um you know, we are neutral and that we are, we care or that we are fair people. But the reality is, I really don't think we are fair people. I mean, we try to be, you know, we try to be reasonable in what we feel is reasonable or whatever our philosophy is. But the problem is, we're not fair, right? We have a view of the world, a way of the world that is basically, that's been laid, you know, layers and layers of growing up as a child, the environment you raise it with your with your with your parents, your mom and your dad, whoever you were raised with, your environment, your school culture, your 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 uh, religious culture, your ethnic culture, there's just so much that's just basically baked in that the prejudice is towards anything that's different is feels weird, right? Think about someone who's never traveled, you know, anyone who's never traveled, say for 30, 40 years, and they decide to go traveling, or they go, or they have to travel, they're gonna feel a little scared. You know, it's just, or it's got, or more scared than someone that regularly travels. Just like when someone goes into the gym for the very first time, they are kind. Of, they're going to be scared because they've never been in a gym, and then they they do it a few times. It's uncomfortable, and they don't come back. You know, uh, I'm I'm sure if you ever had this experience where you go to a brand new gym or you maybe move cities and you have to find a new gym to work out at. And where am I going with this? I'm just talking. And, you know, if you're this far into the video, which is seven minutes, 36 seconds about. Um, but the thing I find interesting is that on all my videos, right, I have analytics. And it tells you, like, who's watching. It doesn't tell you who the person is, but it tells you the percentage of people, right? And it's called audience retention. And the the thing is, is that anywhere, my, my worst videos get about 7 to 10% audience retention at about 90%, Right. Um, and people who are, and my good videos get maybe about 20% audience retention at 90%. But the point is, is, you know, even at a hundred, let's say a hundred views, this video will probably get about 40 or 50 views. That means I'm going to get five to 15 people that will watch 90% of this video. I don't know if that's going to be you. If it is, it probably is because this video is going to end soon. And I'm actually kind of watching that. You know, and the reason why is because you, you know, this is about a 10 minute video. You're the person that I care about. You know, the people that kind of want to stick around and watch and listen to sort of what I have to say. You know, of all the people, of all the subscribers I have or the views that I get on this on this particular video, it's a very small amount of people. And I'm talking about this mostly because you find what I have to say interesting or valuable. And um, and as long as that group of people exists, because I think it always will, you know, it might not be you all the time. What's going to happen is I can increase the size of my viewership, you know, of the people that I care about. And this is kind of, and I'm, and I'm sort of kind of thinking out loud here, because the thing is that some of us who want to build an online following or build a business are afraid of rejection. We're afraid of being ridiculed. We're afraid of basically losing. Losing. We're afraid of losing. We don't want to look bad, right? Uh, even post. That's why people don't post on Facebook because we're afraid people will read into what we say. We don't want to embarrass ourselves. But the reality is, the reason why people love you is because so many people hate you. You know, uh, or that's kind of how it is. That the intensity in which someone loves you is can basically you're polarizing. Just like uh, Donald Trump, he's very polarizing. You know, right now it doesn't look very good in the polls, but then 
the intensity in which there's so much dislike for Donald Trump, there, believe it or not, I'm sure you know this already, there's the opposite side that really love him. And that's, that applies to a lot of things. You know, that's, that's the same thing as being a meat eater or being vegan. They're like two sides that are polar opposites and complete and total opposition. And the thing is that they are the most basically passionate groups that speak out. You know, people who are vegan, or, you know, are very passionate people. And, and for that reason, I can't, I have nothing but respect because the thing is, is that this is kind of where I'm stuck in is that I'm afraid to basically put my foot in the ground and stand for something. You know, because the or I yeah, I got that that's basic that's a good way of putting it. Because you know, when you believe in God, you know, you believe in Jesus Christ, when you believe in being a vegan, when you support Donald Trump or you hate Donald Trump, you're saying something that and by the way I don't mean any of that. That's just me talking. As examples, when you when you say that you're putting your foot in the ground stating something that puts you on one side. Like you're not you're not on the fence. You know, it's either black or it's white. And although that may alienate a lot of people, the pro- the thing about that is that the people that really, how do you say, the people that really believe or align with your thoughts and values or at least align with you, you as a person, you know, that they really feel that you're genuine will get closer to you. And a lot of that's and that's kind of um, it's interesting because we're afraid to show ourselves to people. You know, we're a lot of us are. I'm speaking for myself, being afraid to connect with people. I guess a lot of us are. Some are more than others, but hmm, that's a lot to think about. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you gotten this far, um, I don't know if you're like me, where you tend to be introverted. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying I'm trying to change that. I'm just trying to do the things that I enjoy and in the process uh, some of the stuff I don't enjoy and I'm thinking I'm going to post this video I don't know how long I'm going to keep it up Uh, actually I'll probably keep it up for a week and I think I'm going to do a little experiment where I'll make a video like this let it run for a week and then I'll take it down and we'll kind of see how this works or maybe I'll keep it up who knows anyways I just want to know I appreciate you thanks for watching thanks for listening And I'll see you guys all on the next video.